Hey, today I'm gonna to teach you my seven ways to make your house worth more money. Hey, what's up, it's Chris Colgan, and today I wanna to teach you seven ways to make your house worth more money. But first, if you could do me a favor and like and subscribe to this video if you're on YouTube, and if you're on Facebook, Please comment, share, like, talk about the video. I love getting all your guys' feedback. I love hearing about it. I go through Chick-fil-A, they're like, my pleasure. Your video is the best. So please comment, I love hearing that stuff. And I wanna teach you guys more tricks that I have taught some of my sellers to get top, top dollar, because we all love making that money, because I know all my customers are just filled with cash. I see it, you guys got it. But. Before I get into that, also check out my website. You can search any home for sale. You don't have to go on Zillow, all these other websites. You can go on my website. It's mobile friendly, super easy. I also offer a service where you can sign up. It shows you the equity in your house, how much it could sell for, you know, what you could do with refinance options and all kinds of different things. So definitely check that out. Nobody annoying is gonna call you, maybe me. It's all good. I'm sure you'll love to hear from me anyways, but let's get right into it. Number one, curb appeal. Curb appeal is probably the hugest thing in this whole game. If you were thinking about selling or if you're not thinking about selling about making your house worth more money, you gotta think about it. The home buyers pull up and it's the very first thing they see. So if it looks like we just got off the set of Jumanji and it's a freaking jungle, like we got big problems, okay? Because I've pulled up with some buyers and they've actually been like, hey, forget about it. I don't wanna look at this house. If it looks like this on the outside, can you imagine the inside? Really easy trick here, twice a year, I have people come out, trim all the bushes, they redo the mulch. I hope you don't really think that I would actually do that work myself with these like nice hands. But they come in, they do all that, and then I hire a company like True Green or Chemlon, they come out, do the, or whatever the chemicals they put on it, makes the grass look green. And then it just like looks a heck of a lot better, it shows better for pictures, you know, the neighbors get jealous and everything, and you don't need like a crazy sprinkler system or anything like that. So, and then the summer around here, of course, in DC, it gets very hot and the yard gets fried. But again, just make sure you keep up with curb appeal and also keep that front door painted a fresh color. And I take the screens out of my windows. It's a trick that model homes do. I never open my windows anyway. So if you ever go into a model home, notice there's no screens in the windows because it lets a ton of natural light in and it looks a lot better from the front of the house as well. Number two, fresh paint. Fresh paint is huge and it's also very cheap and easy to do. Always go with a light and neutral color throughout the house. Don't try to get crazy and do some crazy like different colors or anything like that because A, it's hard if you ever wanna go to sell and someone like me comes in and says, hey, you need to repaint and you've got you know, the color of the Pittsburgh Steelers, which I've actually seen in someone's house and you're talking three coats of paint to get rid of that stuff. So go like a really neutral color that everyone will like. It's also like a lot better eye appealing as well. And a light gray is a very popular color that's in right now, or maybe even like an off white. The lighter, the better is kind of what I say. And you can always throw some accents on the wall like I did here in my place, and it'll show it a lot better. And please, for the love of God, I'm begging you people, don't paint yourself, okay? Like I've walked into a lot of people's houses, you guys could not paint. Hire a professional, because what you guys do is you tape up the top and you do a good job on the walls and then like the top, it's awful. It looks terrible, okay? And then I gotta be a nice guy and be like, yeah, I think we should paint it instead of just telling you it looks like crap. So definitely hire a professional to do that. And if that's something that you want any options on, help with, I can help you with the right contractors if you're in the DC area but definitely listen to my advice on this one, please. I beg you guys. Number three is bathroom updates. One of the most biggest things that people walk into they wanna see is the master bath. Now, I don't ever suggest to anybody going crazy and doing like a full-fledged master bath remodel. It's not worth it. You can get away with doing a fresh tile, a new vanity tops, new granite countertops. All that stuff is a lot cheaper now. And a lot of times in some of these powder rooms, I've seen people get away with only spending like 2,000 to 2,500 bucks by going to Lowe's, getting a new vanity and getting a new toilet, getting it painted, and all of a sudden you're adding five to $10,000 of value to your house by doing $2,500 worth of work. So outside of the kitchen, bathrooms are the second biggest thing that you can do to make value go up in your house. 
Number four, interior decorating. You don't need to hire a professional to do this. You can go online and watch plenty of YouTube videos. There's all kinds of articles about interior decorating. That's what I did when I decorated my house. One of the hottest things in right now that you'll see from designers like Jonathan Adler is bar carts. You can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, and get one of those for 200 bucks. And you can set up different drinks, wines, liquor, whatever you want, glasses, and it looks really good. And it's a great eye appealing thing effect to have in your house. When I posted pictures of mine that you guys will see some video of, people were like, whoa, where did you get that? That had to be expensive. The thing was like 150 bucks. Also, if you're ever staging a bookshelf, try to put things in threes. That way, it just kind of looks better that way and it doesn't look as cluttered. And a very popular thing in right now is coffee table books and neon sign lights. I bought a bunch of coffee table books from Home Goods, put them all throughout my house. They're nice and big and colorful. And then neon signs, they, yes, the neon signs that you see on storefronts, they are huge right now. There's all kinds of companies that will even do your handwriting in neon signs or for kids' rooms or whatever. I put a couple in my house, very cheap, very easy to do. Definitely check those out. They're a great way to make a room pop. Number five, the kitchen, the most important room in the house. This is where everyone gravitates towards when they're going to look at a house for sale. What I suggest you do is, if you got older cabinets, get them painted. Right now, you don't need to go out and rip all these cabinets and do a $30,000 cabinet job and put something crazy in. A lot of these houses around here where we live have cabinets now that are 10 to 15, 20 years old. And getting them painted like a light blue or a gray color is really in right now, or even in a white color, and it will save you a ton of money. And another thing, please do not try to paint the cabinets yourself because they will not look good, I promise you. Another great thing that you can do is get brand new appliances, another cheap thing. They're always on sale. And if you don't have like black appliances or old white appliances, definitely go with stainless steel, stuff like that, or white and try to just match your cabinets in different ways. But upgraded appliances definitely go a long way because when a buyer walks in, if they see an old oven or a refrigerator, they instantly overestimate. I've heard buyers be like, oh my God, the fridge, uh, that's gonna cost $5,000. And I'm like, dude, I'll drive you to, if you give me five grand right now, I will literally go get a fridge. and it will be really nice and it, I'll still have a couple of G's in my pocket. Another great suggestion, granite countertops have come down a lot in value recently and they're an easy, cheap upgrade. I've seen them be around like three to 4,000 in a kitchen upgrade. They come a long way too. And you can also like do your island in a different color. I shyly suggest that I did that in my house. And so also try not to keep your countertop full of stuff, like all your taxes that you never got to or your kid's crown or your project you haven't touched in 10 years. Like just keep it nice and clean. It makes the kitchen look a lot bigger. Number six, you gotta reduce the clutter in your house. Every time I go to someone's house, the very first thing they say to me is excuse the mess. Now, and their house could not even be messy. And trust me, I've actually been in houses where I've had to like climb on top of junk to get to certain areas of the house. It's what I do to get things sold for you guys. But check out Marie Condi's book. I'm sure you've heard of it, The Magic of Tidying Up. Basically, she just talks about getting rid of clutter. Like, do you really need the spelling bee trophy that you got in 1983 in third grade that your mom and dad, like what don't my mom and dad do? Every time I go to their house, they pawn things off to me. They literally will be like, oh, we think this is yours. And it's like a jacket that I haven't seen in 20 years. Like, just get rid of it because you want the closets to have nothing on them. Be nice and clean. They look a lot bigger. I'm telling you, donate these clothes, people need it. Donate your old shoes, your books, whatever. I'm telling you, a lot of the junk that you guys probably have, like me, no one would even want anyways. Throw it on Facebook Marketplace, but it just makes the house look a lot bigger, show better, and it honestly is a lot better mental-wise and not have so much junk in your house that you don't need. Okay, people? So get rid of some of that stuff. And no, do not mail me anything, please. I don't want that spelling bee trophy. I don't want your old shoes. Don't ask me like my parents if I want Nintendo video games that haven't worked in 20 years, okay? Getting sick of it. Number seven, last but not least, flooring. If you have old carpeting, definitely get that updated. Right now, the hottest thing in, which you're probably seeing everywhere, is vinyl uh, floors are back in. There's a new vinyl floor that's out that's very like friendly for getting water spills, the dog's nails and all that. Pretty much everyone has gone to that. It's a lot better, I think, for the environment over hardwood floors. Like a gray or a dark gray color is really in with those as well. Flooring does a huge job for a house. It makes it look a lot better. So, and you don't, if you have bedrooms with carpets in it and stuff like that, you don't have to do the flooring in there, but I definitely suggest you remodel the flooring 
And if it's hardwood floors, sometimes it's just getting them redone is as much as putting in new floors. That can be an expensive job. And then if you do have hardwoods, lay down some rugs around the area, stuff like that. But if you guys have any questions on any of this, I hope you like my tips. Or if you're thinking about selling, you want me to come check out your place, I can help you get it ready to sell for a top dollar. What we do is I come in, I tell you what to do to get the house ready, set you up with the right contractors. And then that way when my video and my photo people come out, your house looks amazing. It goes online, we get it sold fast and for top dollar because we want it to show right. And that way we can market it well and get the house sold for top dollar. Or if you're not even thinking about selling, you just want some tips, feel free to shoot me a message. And if you know anybody thinking about buying or selling, I'd love to help them. And as, as always, as I say, I will see you at the top or from the top.